In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use one of the covers made using the new price cut living hinge. So we made this book and there's a video that shows you how to make this style in a previous video. We're going to use this book and we're going to actually make a sort of envelope accordion book to go in here. So I'm just going to pop this to one side to start with. And I'm using five by seven envelopes pre-bought with matching cards. And I've made my book six by eight so that these will fit in beautifully. So they'll fit in absolutely perfectly. So all I'm going to do is take an envelope and open it up. And these can be the cheapest envelopes you want. You can make your own or anything like that that you want to do. And I'm going to take the next envelope and open that out. And I'm just gonna glue it together. And I'm using a sort of print stick, a glue stick as this works really well with this style of paper and stops it warping. So I put glue all on the flap of the envelope. I'm going to marry the envelope up to the edge and I'm going to fold that back along the fold line. So that I've got a little section there of envelope. I'd simply open up the next one, add glue onto that. And we'll take another envelope, match it to that fold line and again, we can fold these like an accordion. So you can see we're starting to get three that will stand together. So I've actually already made a whole sort of ton of these and I've already folded a lot together. So you can see here, so we're gonna take the end envelope from here and I'm going to glue it to the three that I've just made. So that I've got, and I think that's probably about 15 or 20 here, because the book will take an awful lot. Add some glue. And I'm simply going to marry that together on that edge. We'll fold that in, fold that one over, fold the next one. So we have all of this concertina book. And these will, as you can see, open out like that, or can flick round. So I want to attach these into my book, but one of the ways is if I just attach the front and the top, they can all pull out and you may want that, but I don't want that. So what I'm doing is I'm taking some twine. I'm using quite sort of a nice, attractive twine. So I'm gonna pull quite a lot off. I believe this is Mayart's. So I want a piece that's roughly three times the length. So we'll just measure some of those out. One, two, three and you can use this technique to secure in um, folds of paper as well in an old sort of book binding feel so there we go we've got three of those which is quite good so all i'm going to do is fold over and i think i'll go one two three and i'm going to put a piece of twine in to there we'll go with another one two three and I'm going to put another piece of twine in. And we're going to go one, two. Oh, we haven't got enough of those. So let's put another one just in the centre here. So I'll just change it round a little bit. So perhaps not do every three, but I'll do every two. And I've got those now fixed in. So they're hanging out on each side. And as you can see, they will nicely hold those sort of middle sections in you can if you want to if you want to be ultra secure put one in every single one so again let's just take a little bit more of the twine it depends on the weight you're going to put into here so i think we'll go everyone so one two three one two three there we go. So I'm just going to fold these over. So I think we've got one there. Again, take more of the twine. And the more you put in, the sort of longer it will take to actually affix it. So I won't put one in every one going through, this is an example, but we'll try and put one in every other one, but let's have a look. 
and it does feel a little bit. I'm just judging on the weight and the weight of the envelopes. So let's take these. There we go. That's going to glue in. So we just need one more for there. So we've simply now got one into virtually every hole. We'll close those and you can see now, apart from the two flaps at the end, I've got those all secured in. So what I simply need to do is to bring in my book and I want to place those into the centre or the section that I want them to go into. There we go. Now I want to glue this down. So once again, I'm going to glue on this side the flap. So we're going to close that and we're going to close our book. So I'm going to put it evenly around these three edges. So I've got an even space around. What I'm going to do is obviously glue down this section here. I'm going to leave this pocket open. So what I'm doing is applying the glue on this section, leaving this pocket open. And I can simply close my book, which then gives me my pages. I can then take my threads, pull them into the center and I'm simply going to tie those off. And I love the look of this. You get a real rustic look to the book that you've made. So we're just going to tie those off. We'll pop a little tighter knot in. This is mainly about securing everything, stopping it flopping forwards. It doesn't have to be exactly correct. Let's just trim those off. So now I've got the really nice sort of little tie at one end but then I have my open little section so I've got all these little sections now so I can start to actually add things into them so perhaps I might want to slide a pre-made card into there we might want to pop a second one perhaps into there and I might want to add a couple of tags in so they're nice in there and we might want to add a couple of, why don't we pop one of the little notelets into there. Have that one popping out. And again, perhaps we can put one into there. So as you open each section, you've got spaces that allow you to put different products and different things in. So we've got a little card there. We'll open to the next one and we might actually have some little might well, we pop a couple of little tags in there. So there's lots of different things that you can do to decorate these, to add sections in. You can decorate, obviously, all of the envelopes. So let's pop another little notebook card into there, perhaps. And we'll have another little notebook card into there, maybe with a larger tag just held in. So as you go around, each time we're just adding different things. These could be ticket stubs, these could be memories. There's so many different pieces that you can add into these little envelope pockets. And of course, we close our book and we're done. But as we open, and again, you see here, that's probably not sealed completely. So I can add a little bit more glue. Just make sure it stays nice and stuck down. But as we go through, we've got all these different bits of ephemera in there. You can make a little note look case. There's so many different sections you can add to that. But we've got a beautiful little sort of almost like a nature journal notelet set with little cards and things that pull out. Mm -hmm.